Your Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 settings suck, and this is why. What's going on, guys? It's Ryan back in today with another video, and today we're going over your settings in-game. We're going over your graphics settings. We're going over your controller settings. We're going over your mouse settings. We're going to tell you what keyboards to buy, what kind of mice to buy. We're going to tell you what kind of controller to get. I'm going to show you my overclocking. Stay tuned, guys, and I will bring you guys all the information that you need to have a successful and a performance-based build in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Goal will be to give you a PC build or a console. I'm not sure exactly how this stuff translates, so that you guys have the best performance possible and this will allow you to get the most kills possible and be the best player you can be possible. That's the background information that, for the reasons that I choose the things I do. Display mode, exclusive, full screen, make sure it's your monitor, make sure your display adapter is your graphics card, make sure you are using your graphics card for your gameplay. Screen refresh rate is set to what you have. I have a 144 hertz monitor, so I have that. I have a 1440p monitor, so I'm using 1440p. Dynamic resolution, turn this off. I will not condone this, but if you have a computer that sucks, turning that on may help you. It may not help you. Uh, play around with the Target frame rate, don't do something too crazy, but just keep it around wherever your refresh rate is. That'll probably be good for you. Aspect ratio, whatever, 16 to 9, probably. Be sync gameplay off menu sync. Honestly, this is something that's cool. And you do this and you do the sync for on the menu. Someone might yell at you for that. Out of focus, I do 60 just so it doesn't look so chunky that I hate myself. What's my cat doing? What the heck? Yeah, you want a limit. You want the max FPS you can. I don't know why I didn't have that there. My cat wants to make an entrance. My cat, my cat said that she wants you to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Susan's gone. Bye, Susan. Uh, display gamma make sure this is srgb unless for some reason you are using a tv quality this is probably where the biggest setting changes come from that you guys need to be making sure you're running i end up having always on custom render resolution set this to 100 you should never really go lower or higher just don't do it fidelity cast is for the best quality it's a good sharpening me mechanism and i usually put this at like 40. if you do this too high it starts to look extremely sharp it's too sharp 40 is a good mix between good fps and a good image you can also run amd fsr 1.0 if you are having issues running the game this will supposedly give you more fps with a really crappy image but at least you're playing the game right that's all that matters uh, filmic smaa t2x put that on because this one right here looks awful i run into that normal it doesn't really help you that much when you it comes to uh, the vram that you're using this is a good key that helps with uh, this game um, it might be in other games but this game especially see down here how my estimated vram usage is only three three megabytes i'm gonna make sure my video scale then is down to well, 12 divided by 2 is 6 so now i'm using half of my video ram this actually helps you out instead of using 100 if you're maxing out your vram yeah you're gonna have some issues but if you're experiencing hitches and weird stuff going on with your game the thing that i heard was lower it down almost to where it's running so it'll probably do 80 percent of what's needed texture resolution i do very low because we want best fps and look effect on vram and effect on cpu use this uh low 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 short low very low off off medium this will make your uh camos look better so this is definitely i'd put this on high actually it's really not gonna affect anything that's gonna make your camos and your shadows look amazing off honestly men's probably better just put men on that one on demand textures and streaming i turn this on i don't have an issue with this so like i don't have an issue running the games this is just downloading on on demand textures so pulling texture packs basically from the web not the big of an issue streaming quality low off uh, low off off very low 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 ultra and the reason why we use ultra on this one is because set the cache size so if you guys don't know what cache is cache is basically files stored on your computer and we're in we're making the size of the cache the largest possible so in this setting that's setting ultra means the file size is going to be bigger that you can hold so it basically means that more textures are going to be on your ssd or hard drive versus being pulled from the cloud so it's going to it's gonna make your game run smoother and run better. There's another setting like that in here, so don't skip ahead. Low, off, off, low, off, off, off. Weapon motion blur. Da -da -da. For some reason, this being on has helped players get better performance out of their game. Turn this on and at least try it out. This is one that I never thought was true. And then I turned it on and my game felt way better. Maybe there's something to do with the way the gun moves in the game. Film grain all the way off. 120 FOV, wherever you want. Affected, I would use affected because this this decreases the visual recoil that you see. It will make the gun not bob as much. So that is something I would do. Third person, yeah, all the stuff. 50, 50, use these two. That's all I got left for here. This. I'm not gonna show you all my key bindings, but I'm gonna show you something here. Um, aim assist type, use black ops. And if you guys didn't like and subscribe for Susan, like and subscribe for Willie. He does not miss a meal. That's all I'm gonna say. He does not miss a meal. Yeah, you want black ops and assist for this one. And then, and you want the gravity vector on. That's that audio. 
depends on what you're using. I use headphones, so I'm using the headphone bass boost. This will give me the best performance. And you guys gotta play with these sliders yourself. I should probably turn that up a little bit. Dialogue. I, you're missing precision airstrikes coming in. Probably right here, to be honest. Effects in game. I like that being up. Hit marker. I'm gonna turn that up so I get to hear my hit markers more because I hit people a lot and I want to hear when I hit them. I just found the setting. So I might want to turn this one on. Reduce tinnitus. Tinnitus on. Sound from concussion flash shell shock is replaced with a more dull murky sound. I'm in. I'm all in for that one. Um, color customization under interface. Filter 2 I heard is the best. So I use filter 2. 100%. 100%. Both. They'll make your game look amazing. So use that. You can thank me later. I use square and I run bird's eye so I get a big old map on that. Alright. Back to the video, right? Back to the video. Come on. Come on. Back to the video. Ow. What the heck? Center dot on. Fire dot scale default. Bam! I think that's it, guys. That's it. Don't look at my IP, guys. What the? F Don't look at my IP. If you guys have not already, go get yourself a mouse. Glorious PC mouse right here. This thing's amazing. Make sure you clean the little gliders in the bottom. Okay, any mouse to change your life. Go buy the mouse. You will get better. Go buy the scuff controller. Go buy the scuff controller. Go buy the mouse. Whatever you need to do. The keyboard. I can't pull. Okay, I can't buy the keyboard. This is a ducky keyboard. Bought this thing about four years ago, actually. There's just, there's actually cheese falling out of it. That's terrifying. Okay. Let's plug that thing back in. It works really good. Bam. Plug back in. The cheese is probably being eaten by my cats right now. I'm going to go over my MSI afterburner settings. So pop back over here. And all I do is an undervolt and I turn my GPU fan up because it does get a little hot. So I undervolt my graphics card. Warning, do not do this unless you know what you're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I have trusted sources and guys who know what they're doing and this stuff, so I trust that. So we have an undervolt going out with my, gra my graphics card here. So we basically are making less voltage go to it. And I'm not a wizard when it comes to, it decreases the heat, it decreases the amount of power that is drawn does make your game run better. I, I have the fan speed also set to 70 because it usually lies in that 50 range or lower. And I don't know why. Doing this makes my PC run from about 70 uh, degrees Celsius towards more like 50. So that's my MSI afterburner. Now let's go to my AMD settings. Oh yeah, mouse settings. Bam. Mouse. So you type in, oh, it's right there. Mouse. Ugh. Additional mouse settings. Pointer options. Bam. This is also one of those things where it will make your mouse move faster when you like do this it'll make it start moving faster the faster you move it you don't want that Let's go back to amd here gaming global graphics i have all this stuff disabled image sharpening up this will only actually play effect though if you have it disabled in game and you have to restart your computer so that's where i had that when i was doing working with it so if you have no sharpening in game you can use this to make your game look better and i would just copy these settings down these settings are I've been, I've you kind of tweaked them, and these are the best for a performance based build. Going to display as well, I uh, override here. This is where the HDCP support is. So if you have an Elgato or something, you're trying to do a, a capture card, you need to turn this off so for it to work better. It might be throwing you errors. I've custom color off and I have color deficiency correction off. You can do this in game in Modern Warfare 2, but if you can't in the game you're in, you can go in here, you can start changing some stuff around. You can really get it messed up though at the same time. You can, I mean, look at that, yeah. And that is going straight to your graphics card. So that's like, that's nothing added. That, like that's like from the graphics card. So you're going to get better, better colors without doing color corrections, uh, GPU scaling, all the stuff disabled. You don't need it color depth. I have it all maxed out basically full RGB. I have my video profile as enhanced, makes the game look better. I have always on top and system tray menu. So basically I can always see right down here. Go buy yourself some control freaks. I guarantee they make you a little bit better. Not gonna make you amazing. They're gonna make you a little bit better though. A little bit might help. First off, mouse sensitivity. Mouse sensitivity is something that you set with your personal preference. Mouse sensitivity is something that you need to choose for yourself. So go uh, test out your different sensitivities. I use a 1.0 for the ADS sensitivity multiplier. And this basically means that when I ADS, my sensitivity is the exact same. It gives you a better mind muscle connection actually. So you just learn what your sensitivity is and it doesn't change back and forth. This basically means that it's consistent. It's always one. If you go higher and lower, it will make your mouse speed up, I believe, and mouse slow down based on the, where you're going. You don't want that in your game. Custom sensitivity per zoom, I have that off. Mouse calibration, wheel delay, whatever. Wheel delay, mouse smoothing off, filtering off, acceleration off. Gameplay, the stuff is straightforward kind of. It's all preference, but this is what I prefer. So I like toggle for crouch, toggle for prone, and for attack sprint and sprint, I like toggle. This is because in this game, when you uh, attack sprint, you actually take a lot longer to ADS and get ready for a gunfight again. So I don't like attack sprinting when I know there's a guy near me. That's why I keep that off. Automatic sprint, I have off. Attack sprint behavior is a single tap sprint. And this basically means that uh, while I'm sprinting, I just I tap my sprint button and I start attack sprinting. Uh, close backpack on sprint. So this basically means once I start sprinting, I will close a backpack in Warzone. This helps out a 
lot because sometimes you don't want to have to click the button to actually back out of the backpack and this will clear that up for you guys airborne automatic airborne mantle this one pisses me off all the time make you automatically mantle over if it could prevent a fall works out Sh share slide and dive inputs independent i was trying to get rid of dolphin diving and that just doesn't seem to happen in this game advanced movement settings walk behavior is hold walk speed slow it, it helps you to sneak up on people and like search and destroy different things so i don't like it being faster it makes your footsteps louder etc fronting door bash plunge freely we always like to plunge freely go for that one Bashing a door opens it more quickly and louder. I always do sprinting door bash on. I do this for when I'm looting and stuff, but if I am in a, you know, trying to be a stealthier, obviously I don't want the door bashing. So I do use F to open the door manually. Um, whenever I get close, you just get close to it. You don't, you don't, it, you're not gonna bash through. If you ADS, you can peek the door and open it really uh, quietly. Do that if you're really trying to be quiet also. So two tips there. You can uh you can hit you can hit your interact button to open the door quietly or you can uh ads and peek the door and open it just by pushing yourself through it easy way to get through the door without making a lot of noise grounded mantle this is the one i want off turn that bitch off grounded mantle no we don't want that parachute auto deploy is off you want to pull your parachute when you want now we're just getting into the stuff that i really don't care about anymore so where were we at? Movement advanced settings, ADS behavior. You want to hold that. You do not want this one to be a uh, toggle. Oh, that's the worst toggle. I don't know why it's even in the game. That's my, that my mic was actually working. Change, change zoom shared input. Do this with all of these. They don't, especially in the uh, PC version, they don't put focus in here. So you don't have a focus button unless you actually do this. I'm pretty sure. I, that's what I had to do to get it to work. Equipment behavior, hold, uh, interact behavior, press, hold. Just this makes me angry, I think. Weapon mount acti activation. Hope you guys have all enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and go check out this video right here about the Orion Camel grind. So if you're trying to get Orion Camel really fast, I explained really well the best way to do that in this video. I already have Orion Camo and I love the camo. It's a good camo. Uh, it's good when you're running a bigger weapon so you can see the full thing like uh, animated and stuff. I enjoy, the, I enjoy the camo. I run it in Warzone all the time. It's a big flex, so you want it. You should probably go watch the video because you don't want to be the only one in your friend group not having the Orion camo, right? You don't want to be that that guy. Oh my god. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and subscribe. And hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you.